the channel. Okay. Hello guys. For those of y'all that are new here, my name is Christina Jackson and welcome back to the channel. This is Christina Nicole Fitness where we talk about living an intuitive, balanced life and anything that inspires me. Okay. So today we are going to be doing a very interesting video. Okay. I've been getting all the stuff together to get this filled up. So this is definitely something I never thought I'd be doing, but we're going to do it. Okay. So we're building an at-home gym this is a DIY gym okay so right now bloop, we got all this behind me so I'm gonna flip the camera around so y'all can see what I'm talking about. so as you can see this whole space got to be cleared out swept mop and then not including all the other stuff so we're gonna be doing some gisting today we're gonna be getting my fucking house together um so yeah so we got to get this space together and cleared out and cleaned up so we can install the gym so we can diy this stuff up, okay i was gonna say bitch but you know either way so i'm gonna get back to it by you know taking all this stuff off the tree i got a bag full of ornaments so i'm gonna get back to it and y'all are gonna see me film all this for y'all today so just stay watching if you want to know how to diy your own gym at home okay my bad if everything looks a little crazy because my house is crazy right now because we got stuff all over the place because we're doing this so right now i'm getting ready to take down the tree i'm taking all the little ornaments off and stuff at the dog bowls because we got to clean this area out i got all the stuff over here that needs to be taken out so this is technically where you would have a dining room but we don't eat at a table that's just not how we work you know so right now um <clears throat> i just got done um what is it if you see those bins right there over there i had to go through i have a little storage closet behind this wall um and basically I had to go through pull out all those containers because some there's some stuff in the container some stuff not and so i wanted to downsize and compact so i had to do that first because uh, if you see this Christmas tree right here, I want it to be able to go in properly in the closet. Plus, I gotta get my dog's kennel um, put in there as well in the little storage closet because we're no longer using it. The dogs are um, they're both old enough and they are kennel trained, but at the same time, they don't need a kennel. Um, we let them pretty much roam around the house and stuff like that, and they're house trained as well too. Um, but we normally use the kennel like. Um, if they've had a lot of accidents and stuff like that, we will put them in the kennel and so on and so forth. But they really don't have accidents anymore, so we're going to put it away unless we need it for um, a vacation or a trip or something like that where we have to put the, the dogs in the kennel or something like that. Um, then, yeah, so it's just going to go in to the storage closet behind me. That way, behind that wall. Um, yeah. Over oh, here, starting to look like that. I got that already, um, you know, compacted, and I'm doing the second half of the tree, then I'll do the third half. I already put in this bag behind me the stockings, the little dress tree, and all the little ornaments and stuff. Normally, I wouldn't take this down, but since this is a DIY, you know, build your own gym, you got to clean the area before we can lay everything out. So, yeah, and plus, like I said, we're just staying because the house looks a mess right now given the fact that we have all this stuff laying around and it needs to all go over there because it's part of the gym so yeah i'm gonna get back to it but yeah it's just i had to do that first and i don't feel like y'all need to really see me downsize um some containers that had nothing to do with technically this area so i was like let me just go ahead and do that but um let me keep doing the tree and i'll come back once that area is completely cleared out so y'all can see it Okay, y'all, so it's empty over here, and now I already swept it. We're gonna mop, say hi, Trip. Okay, so back to the project at hand. So this is what we're working with over here. It's a good amount of space. Okay, y'all, so everything's clean out here. It's all swept, it's mopped. So now, because we live in an apartment, we don't want the tiles to get damaged or anything like that. So we bought these at five and below. Um, they're the little tile mats and we're probably gonna double stack them, but we're gonna see how many lay out first and then see what's left. But we bought 
um, a whole bunch of these, and they were uh, they were three dollars a piece. I thought it was on the back. It's on the back of one of these here. So yeah, they're really cheap. They're really inexpensive, and you can see that's the thin. That's how thin they are and stuff like that. I think there are thicker ones, but I know like Walmart has some. And, and what is it? I think like just for four of them, it was like twenty four or thirty bucks. And I was like, oh no! I was like, I know Five and Below has like cheaper fitness stuff. So some things you will see come from Five and Below. So if you want inexpensive fitness gear and stuff like that, or even they have health and fit, or they have books there. They have water bottles. They have um all kinds of gear and stuff like that so some of this home gym will definitely be a uh, buy five below and no it's not sponsored this is our own coins okay just as many as you need just for your um, home gym or if you want you can buy like a little padding just for the place that you need if you only need two squares or three squares just to do full body exercises that's all you have to get okay y'all let's get into it so we got this mat that's gonna go up against this wall right here literally just like this I'm gonna take the packaging off that but I'm gonna show you cuz he's opening up our gym equipment right now that we got let me show you what that looks like. So this is a weighted bench. Do you remember how much this was? I think this was 60. Was it 69 or 90? 97. Yeah. I think this one was 69 because this one, this is just the bench itself. This doesn't have any of the weights. You can get this at Walmart. That's where we got it at. And then this is the folding fitness mat that I'm going to place in that corner over there. So I'm just gonna take the packaging off that. Y'all don't judge me. So I got McDonald's cup. <laughs> and I put my own green juice in here. This is, hold on, I'll show it to y'all. This, this is this green juice and a little McDonald's cup. It's when you wanna when you wanna pretend you bougie. Try to manifest my green juice. Got a little time. Y'all 
Y'all better catch these McDonald vibes right here, okay? charge my phone to do this at the same time so probably only going to be able to just put this bench together because we do both have work tonight um, and then tomorrow we'll put together the rest of the gym which it should be difficult to put together tomorrow the last few finishing touches uh, there is going to be more to the gym that we're going to be purchasing or either making ourselves I don't know but I have to do some more looking around now, obviously, if you have a limited space, find what you can put in your space. We live in an apartment complex with our two dogs. It's just us. We do live in a two-bedroom apartment. Um, we have our bedroom. Hold on. We have our bedroom, but we also have um, a home office as well, too, where he does his gaming and I do my work online. Um which my work online is you guys, you know, doing the YouTube, okay? So, doing all that and whatnot. Now, like I said, we didn't use this space. We never really have. We thought about putting this table here one time, but we don't. We like to sit on the couch and chill and um, eat and stuff like that. So, at the end of the day, this space was never going to be used because this actually used to be our office when our roommate was living here with us. This used to be our office. Now that he no longer lives here, we decided to turn that space, um, that second bedroom into an office for the both of us. And then now we're turning this into a home gym. Like I said, do whatever fits within your means when it comes to putting a gym together. If you can't afford this equipment or if you have the space for it but you just you haven't like putting it on my side take the time you know save it for one piece at a time if that's what you want to do you know um if you only want body weight equipment then do that you know if you do feel like getting because there's more expensive equipment than what we got and this equipment can be crazy expensive so if um you want or you got the space to buy more expensive equipment and that's your choice, that's what you want to do, do it. Um, the reason behind us doing this was because we both had gym memberships, right? And at the end of the day, when we were talking about how much we would spend on one gym membership for the year, I think it was, all right, no. The equivalency of all this equipment, we would spend it, watch out, my bad, man. We would end up like in a couple months, like probably about three months, three months of our, our gym membership together. Cause we were spending about, I think about $70 a month on the gym membership. And it's not that I, I went, he didn't really ever go. Let's just be honest. Um, I just didn't go as often as I should. There's times where I had more time to do it and there's times where I didn't. But we decided instead of spending $70 a month on gym memberships, to invest that money into a home gym just because in about three or four months all this equipment would have been paid off anyways and it was less than the equivalency of what we would spend in a year on two gym memberships so it's like okay we can either we could have kept investing that money into a gym or we could have just turned around and invest that money into 
a home gym. Why not? Because, you know, it's less money. If you think about it, basically, this gym paid for itself. Huh. This is my, this is my other baby. What's up? I love you. You ain't on daddy to get back. I love you. I hope you love me too. Hey, watch out, kiddo. Uh-uh. Don't step on that. You're okay. Your brother just, you know, he likes to get near everything dangerous. It's not meant for a two-year-old. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. The camera's like you know, traveling on the tripod. But we decided to cancel those memberships. My bad. <laughs> Save that money, invest it into ourselves, invest it into our home. Because we were we knew that at the end of the day we were gonna get a return. You know what I mean? We don't need to one waste on gas, plus pay that monthly payment, plus those extra what is it? You know how like once a year they have like that. Um, membership fee or whatever you have to pay for them, which is just more money that a corporation gets. So, you know, we basically invested that money in ourselves. So, at the end of the day, we get a lot more money back in our pockets to do more stuff. You know, and all this is definitely going to help us out and reaching our goals because we don't have to travel, you know, and we don't have to waste, like I said, those funds. Uh, I told y'all, do what is within your means. If you can afford this stuff, then go get it. If that's what you want to do. If that's what you want to do. If you want to have a gym like Miss Kardashian, Miss Chloe Kardashian, can, can I talk? Can you get your booty out there? If you, <laughs> if you want to have a gym like hers, because she got a really nice home gym in her garage, honey. She got the stair stepper, because that's something I would feel to have. Um... But she got that and a whole bunch of some of the similar equipment that um, I would love to have if I had enough space for it or I had my own house. But if you can afford that kind of gym, do you. But this is, you know, that DIY. You know, we balling on a budget. Okay, let me stop. It's too much for y'all. Y'all ain't ready for all that. That's That level, that level right there, y'all ain't ready for all that. Okay. Can I, can I help you? Y'all must really like this store because y'all over here checking it out. But yeah, so that's one of the reasons why we decided to, you know, do all this. You know, we're trying to work on um, financial goals this year and just cut out extra costs that are unnecessary. And if we can, you know, find a way to keep that either at home and invest that money back into ourselves or invest that into our future, why not? You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the reasons behind this um, DIY today. Can you move your ear, Papa? You look at your hair. Is it growing back yet? It's growing. Still a little bald back there, but not as bald as you was. Not as bald as you was. Did you like being bald? Look at me and tell me you're cute. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop making fun of you. I love you. I hope you love me too. Yes, you do. Y'all want to see something? Look at this. Pound it. <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. Daddy will be back. Okay. Anyways. I'm going to get off here and show y'all. Or we're going to put the camera around. That's what I'm going to do. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Sorry. Now the camera's a little bit uh, shaky. So we got all the pieces laid out. Mm -hmm. We got the instructions right here. Uh, I don't know why he brought... Oh, it's probably to open up this. And then we got everything right here. I don't think we need that. I think it just ripped right open. But yeah. All this stuff right here. And 
I'm probably just going to put this together real quick, real quick. Yes. But that's the bench. But this bench is multifunctional. I can't wait. I can't wait to be lifting and making these games. Start putting it together. Let me get this a little bit higher because it's just like I'm looking at pieces and I'm just like, uh, I hate instructions. Instructions. y'all so we got the one of the frames built i started working on the other one he's gonna go in and tighten that up do you need me to help him on it and then i'm gonna have to skip a couple steps because he's got to finish tightening that up so i'll work on the rest of this frame right here weight set so this shouldn't take no more than my fiance said about 10 minutes to put together and then this this is kind of heavy well I did it with one hand it's a double set so I'll put that together and put that over there to the side somewhere So far we got everything together. There's still more stuff that we are going to get, but this is just the first start of it. So that way y'all can see what everything looks like. Got everything put together. We do have more gym equipment ourselves that's not in this area. So we got our mat over there. We got all of our weights lined up. We're actually going to go buy a rack probably tomorrow and put all these on. But remember, everything is double lined on the floor. And we have this over here in the corner for right now. We can, it's easy to slide across here because it doesn't weigh a lot, so we can move it in the middle if we need to. Um, then we got our Olympic size barbell, and then we have the little um, dumbbell, the little um, in-between weight section. I got the little um, secure little spinny things. I don't know what they're called. I can't think right now. And then we also have this um, neck pad. We bought that. And then, remember I tell y'all at 5 and below, y'all can find a lot of uh, workout gear. So we have um, this resistance band, um, and then we also got these ones because these are some of my favorite ones to use. And we got a couple of different like styles and varieties. So yeah, I got extra heavy. I think this one's a medium, and then this one's heavy. And then this one, this one's an extra heavy resistance band as well. And like I said, we have a lot more gym equipment. So this is not the final reveal. This is just the reveal for right now. But we got everything out of the big boxes and stuff like that. And it's just set up. I think I like it. I mean, now we got our own little home gym. That mat we can always put out right here. That way if we want to do any floor exercises, we can do it. I also have a yoga mat as well, too, that I can even put right here, there, or even in the office if I wanted to and do yoga. As you can see, we got to take all that out. And then, um, yeah. 
So that's the gym. This is how you DIY a home gym so far. But it is going to be a work in progress. So um, just, I guess, we'll see. Um, if we get this up tomorrow, I'll add it on to this DIY kind of like a little vlog with me or whatever. Putting together a home gym. If not, then it'll be in the next time we add on to the rest of the gym. Because we are, like I said, we're going to get um, a rack for the weights. And then we're also going to uh, probably get some baskets and like a shelf because I have a couple of, like I said, um, so I have some resistance bands, I have a mat, and I have a couple other free weights and some other stuff. And I want to put that all in here as well too. So I want it to look aesthetically pleasing. Okay guys, so what was yesterday? Yesterday was Friday when we started filming all this. I had to sit here and think. And now it's Saturday. Remember I said we're putting together the gym and everything like that? Okay, remember this is all DIY. So right now, I just finished up doing it and I just got out of the shower. So that's my hair is like this. And I got to go put it up because I have more videos I'm filming tonight. Um, it's my off day from work. Hold on. Can y'all see this? Let me, let me flip the camera. Okay, so this is what the wall looks like. We have these um, hung up, which once we take those out of the package, we'll put them up on there. On these, these little clear plastic, um, little, what is it, pins? Stuff like that, you can get them from like Walmart. I think like a 200 pack is like, maybe what, two, three dollars? Like two, three dollars or something like that. We've been had them and stuff like that. Um, something. But anyways, and then these are the little, these are the little spindles for the dumbbells and stuff like that. So you add them the way and you twist this on to hold the weight. So, and they hold up. So here. Stuff like that. And then the resistance bands right there. These are some, what is it? These are more resistance bands as well. These are the ones for your legs and glutes. This is a strap for yoga. It's a flexibility strap. But it also can be um, used to hold your, your mat and stuff like that as well, too. You just have to wrap it up. But, um, yeah, I use that sometimes to help with flexibility. So, I've got all that stuff hung up. Um, my fiancé and one of our um, neighbors, who's also one of our co-workers, he came over and they were out working out and stuff like that today. So, things are kind of a little bit, you know. And then, we got this today that I'm gonna be putting together. It's, you know, it's a weighted rack and stuff like that. It's gonna hold everything, um, all of these plates and stuff right here. And then, the other little thing we got, sorry if it looks a mess, this BOSU sport. So we're gonna pump that up and then put it in there as well. Okay, so, yeah. So those are the things we're gonna be doing next. But um, I need to go put my hair up and stuff like that. So like I said, I have some filming I have to do. Um, to, to, well, it's tonight, but it's today for me. My mind, because I'm used to being up at night, so that's when I start my day. I don't start my day during the day down. So yeah, I gotta go get my life together. And why is that on the ground? I don't even know right now. I just, I just thought about that. Okay. But anyways, um, I gotta go, you know, look semi-presentable. And then, um, yeah, I have some more filming. And then I'm gonna be prepping tonight and stuff like that. So those are more videos that, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be doing. And then I have a grocery haul that I'm gonna be filming as well tonight. So, yeah, you guys have a lot of stuff coming up. Most of these videos are gonna be coming out. In February so I don't know if this one's gonna be posted in January or if it's gonna be posted in February but I'm trying to build up a lot of content so right now if you don't really see me it's because I'm on the back end behind the behind the business things and stuff like that I'm filming a lot of content for you guys okay so yeah just know that we're filming for y'all okay so I gotta go and do me Okay, what's up y'all? So, I'm filming this outro to the DIY gym a little late. Do not judge, okay? This has been like several days later or like maybe a week or two later, okay? Don't judge me. 
ain't nobody got time for all that over here, right where I'm at. Ain't nobody got time. Anyways, we got the home DIY gym all set up. We did update it, and I will be doing updates in the future for our DIY gym just because of the fact that we are going to be doing some more stuff to this gym, but this is just the generic, the basics um, in a shell. So I'm going to kind of turn it over here. So we end up putting the BOSU wall over there. We end up putting the little mat right here. And in this corner, we have all that stuff hanging up along the wall. We got um, the bench right there. The barbell is sitting up against the wall behind me on the low low. And um, we do have more equipment are, um, here already in the house. Um, like I said, we're going to be updating this because we want to get some probably floating shelves in here, get some baskets to put some of my other equipment, and I probably even want to move some of my supplements onto the shelves. But I don't know. We'll see how all that works out once we update that stuff in the future. But as of right now, this works for us. And then over here to the side, um, this is where the, uh, what is it? what is that called? The weight rack. I'm sorry. I'm having a brain fart. It's like almost seven o'clock in the morning, y'all, and I haven't been asleep just because, remember, I work at nights, so I'm awake at nighttime, so technically, I should be sharp as a motherfucker right now, but I ain't. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways. Anyways. <laughs> this is our DIY home gym. This is our project. Um, I will try to list things down um, in the comment section below, but half the gym came from Walmart and the other half came from five and below And I already have a lot of other stuff that came from five and below or other places that I got that were not a part of this DIY But all the bands on the wall and stuff like that the bands you see that are in this video did come from five and below um, Some of the resistance bands I did have from before some of them came from five and below and some of them I've got from like physical therapy, but I've had throughout the years and then the mats themselves came from five below the bosu ball the weight rack this bench the barbell and the basically all that stuff in the dumbbell set came from walmart so half and half okay but i hope y'all enjoyed this um if there's anything remember if y'all want to see in the future please leave it in the comment section below give me a thumbs up please support this channel because i love what i do even in my free time i love what i do so um I hope now that the secret is out of the motherfucking bag, we can start filming some fitness videos, okay? Because my name is Christina Nicole Fitness. That's my channel, okay? At least. So I got to start filming some content for y'all. Now that I got this home gym, we're going to get this thing on popping. It's 2020, okay? We come here to slay. I came to get it, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> That's the other side of me, okay? I'm calm, but I'm also crazy. So, anyways, like I said, comment, like, subscribe. Y'all already know what's up. Support your girl, okay? If y'all want more videos like this, if y'all want to eventually follow the updates and stuff like that of um, this little DIY home gym, if y'all want to know how much it costs, I know that definitely this was under $500. I, this gym wasn't even $400, I don't think. Maximum, I would say max it, it was like $400, but... I think it was like on a, a three three fifty dollar budget, whatever. But there are ways you can cut costs, like I said. But um, that's neither here nor there. Like I said, everything I'm gonna try to link down below for you guys, and just help a sister out, okay? <laughs> but I'll see y'all in the next one. Let me know what y'all wanna go see next. Not what y'all wanna go see next. What do you want to see next? But um, if you have any questions about this home gym specifically, DM me on Instagram. Please slide up into the DMs like a brother would and <laughs> let me know what y'all want to see next. And I don't mean that on negative, okay? I got a Fifi, so I ain't looking for nobody. But let me know. And then on top of that, um, I do post there every one to three days, especially on my um, stories highlights. I don't actually do posts most of the time, but I will definitely do a lot of stories. So I might talk about fitness. I might um, show y'all some behind the scenes stuff. So, uh, yeah, go check that out and follow me on there as well, okay? I'm out like a scout on a mission because I got to finish editing this shit for you guys and I got to get this up for y'all. So, I'm out, out. Peace, out. See y'all in the next vlog.